are back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show, and I'm in a sea of red. Yes, a sea of Delta Sigma Theta. Welcome, ladies. They have a couple of things coming up, and we're going to key in on a couple of them in particular. Deborah Gloucester, Gloucester. That's correct. Gloucester is the chair of the Pittsburgh chapter of Delta Sigma Theta's Physical and Mental Health Committee. Yes. And Daphne Austin is an author. <laughs> we're going to talk about all that in just a minute. So you have a lot to, I mean, February, you have a very special event coming up. Right. So on February 23rd, um, uh, from 10 until, 12, 10 until 2, mm -hmm. we have a play called No Good Hiding Place. And it was written by Daphne Austin. Mm -hmm. uh, as a part of our initiative for mental health and wellness, mm -hmm. uh, we are having this play and she has written it for us. And Daphne, tell me a little bit about the play because when we talk about mental health and our community, that's a subject that we don't comfortably talk about. That's yeah. right. And that's why we wanted to do this play. We wanted to do something a little bit different. So Deborah came to me and she said she really wanted to tackle this topic, especially for the African American community, because mm. it's something we don't really want to talk about. Mm -hmm. And she said to me, it's the elephant in the room that no one wants to talk about. Mm -hmm. So um, I wrote the play. It's called No Good Hiding Place. And we're lifting the veil of secrecy and the stigma on mental illness and how it, we deal with it in, the, in our community, mm -hmm. how it affects us. Uh, sometimes I say we are traumatized people mm. and there's a lot of things going on and I watch the news and I listen and I wonder how are these parents coping when their children are dying? Mm -hmm. how, are, how is the community coping when we did have so much to deal with? Whether it's suicide, whether it's police violence, violence in the community. How are we coping? So we're, we lift the veil off of that and we talk about it. And I like to call it an edu drama. So it's education through drama. Through drama. So after the play is over, we're going to have a talk back session with mental health professionals okay. there. Okay. And we're going to engage the audience. So we're going to break down everything we see on the stage as we tell the story. I like to educate through storytelling. So you're not just going to rip the Band-Aid off. You're going to help us heal yes, after you take yes. the Band-Aid off. And I apologize. You know, I, I need to go back. Sure. Because, of course, I know exactly who and what Delta Sigma Theta Sorority yes. Incorporated yes. is all about. Right. But for our viewers that may not be as familiar with Greek sororities in our community. Give us a brief history of Delta Sigma Theta. Sure. Um, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated is an organization of black educated women who are committed to uh, constructive development of its members and also public service and with a focus on the black community. Mm -hmm. So um, our initiative is around helping about mental health, um, physical wellness, and um, I think we have a wonderful committee. And when I asked Daphne to do this play, what I found out later is I said, I need you to write a play about something around mental illness because that's, as I said, the elephant in the room. Nobody wants to talk about. Um, you're, you're quick to say you have cancer or maybe you, you'll say you have heart disease or diabetes, but do you hear anyone talking about that they have a mental illness. Never. Right. Never. So this is a charge that we've taken as a committee, and I'm really grateful right. that she's done this for us. I think that's awesome. Now, I'm just curious when she says, when I asked Daphne to write a play, <laughs> so are you a playwright? I, mean, I am. Some background <laughs> I, am. Here. I actually started writing plays at church. Okay. I was a Sunday school teacher, and I taught 7th through 12th graders. Ah. And I would go to the Christian bookstores, and I would find the material there, kind of vanilla, uh -huh. and they were bored. And I said, I'm going to write something for them and put them in the story. Okay. And after a while, they were like, Miss Daphne, what are we going to do for Christmas? What are we going to do for Easter? And I said, okay, I'm on to something here. Oh, that's awesome. And that's how yeah. I started. And my pastor later asked me to start a drama ministry. So I'm a member of St. James AME okay. East Liberty. And uh, we've been trying to tell the gospel through drama, mm -hmm. but also deal with the real life issues that happen to us in the community. Indeed. And that's what we're doing. So now the play is going to be presented on the 23rd of February right. yes. at the Homewood Library. Talk me through those specifics. Okay. So it's going to be at the auditorium. Okay. So at the Homewood Library Auditorium. Downstairs. In yes. Yeah. Awesome It's a beautiful auditorium. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we will also have vendors. Mm -hmm. Vendors will be from 1230 until 2 with resources on mental health and wellness. Ah, so, okay. And then the play will start at 2 until 4, where we will have the question and answering at the okay. end. So it's yeah. really important for the education piece to happen after the play. Mm -hmm. Because that's really, we want people to leave there armed with information. So when they leave, 
they just didn't just have an um, entertainment moment, mm -hmm. they had an educational moment and will feel, our goal is for people to feel like, okay, it's not just happening to me. Mm, okay. No matter what I, whether I'm going through a divorce and, or whether I'm dealing with a death, a grief, whatever it may be, uh, and if it's become overwhelming to you in your life, maybe you need to get help. And we want to encourage people to encourage someone if you know, because we all know someone. We all know someone, yeah, indeed. Yeah. Is there a cost? The cost is $10 okay. uh, in advance and $15 at the door. However, we do not want to turn anyone away. Okay. So okay. if there's someone that wants to come and feels that they are not able to afford, or if there's mm -hmm. an organization such as uh, NAMI or an organization that deals with groups that are uh, mental uh, illness, mm -hmm. they can get in they touch with us touch. Okay. through our website and we'll see if we can get some donations for them to attend. Awesome. Ladies, we'll take a break. We're going to come back in just a minute and wrap all this up when the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show continues. Don't go away.